Yo, what's up guys, it's 2G here and I'm sorry for not uploading for a while Mainly because I had a lot of shit going on And also I started school back up so that's the pretty much the main thing <laughs> uh, Just, just look at that Anyway, um, yeah So today I wanted to upload a showcase and oh god uh yeah this is my five tick um what's it called my god five tick um barrel shifter so this is pretty cool and it's being used in isa 14 which is over here and yeah i might do some videos about that later but that's all right for now. Um, so yeah, so here are the inputs, eight bits, and here's some cool stuff. So I've made it so that I can have an option whether or not to rotate. That doesn't increase uh, how many ticks it is. It's gonna still stay the same. So this is made up by three different sections. So this is um, shifting up by four. And redstone is bugged. Oh god, what the heck? Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that in a second. I think that's the reason why. Anyway, so this is my five tick. Hello, this is my five tick bar barrel shifter and it's um it's it can rotate and it can just be just normal and i made it so that it has a carry out as well if you ever need that but i really doubt you'd need it well actually no some cps but off to the shifting so let's just put the first bit on let's make sure um in the on the server this has been updated to 1.8 and some of the stuff's been a little bit buggy so yeah when I pasted this in, some redstone stuff might be still like, frozen, so yeah, let me just get some. By the way, this is not good looking at all. This is made for just raw speed. So, and I think this is actually the fastest one, maybe. It's most likely. Okay, so yeah, um, so this one shifts it by for by one. So if I just do that, okay, so that shifted up by one, and the input was one, and this that means that's a two now. So I can shift this by two, jumps up to four. And then I can shift it by 4 and that goes up to 16. So if you don't know binary, I don't know why you're watching this video, but yeah, so I can shift it up to 7 bits, which is, which will take this one and pop it there. So this takes 5 ticks to get all the way up to there. Which is pretty, pretty good, I have to say. Yeah, I will, I will never be able to get that in five takes. That's half a second, I think. Yeah. So, this has also got rotation. So, if I just do something like this. I will shift up to there, but this isn't rotating now. Because I have these off. So, I may do something like this, where I have a or to every single allow rotation point so if I allow rotation, allow rotation, allow rotation and something's gone wrong um. 
<laughs> I'm so confused. Why are you on? Okay, I am so confused <laughs> right now. Okay, why did you turn off? Ah, oh, so I thought that was uh and then <laughs> okay. This shouldn't be on right now. I'll come back in a second and figure out why this was on. So, okay, guys. Yeah, so I found the new bugs. First of all, there was a missing redstone, and second of all, there was a block missing. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's try that again. So let's put input five, and let's show you the rotation going on. Actually, at the at the moment, let's just look at um. Let's just look at the carry. Ow! The fuck! <laughs> oh my god! What the heck is going on? Okay, there's more bugs. Well, this is good. At least I know that there are some. What should be happening is okay, you're there, so that's shift up by one, I shift up by four, and this is shift up by two. Oh, the four thing isn't shifting, or is that just that's allow rotation? I see. Okay, so that shifts it up there, that shifts it by two more and that isn't rotating because I haven't allowed it on so if I do that and I do that and I do that there we go <laughs> god damn okay so that <laughs> is it working properly <sighs> okay so now let's see if what happens when we don't have a lot of rotation there should be a carry up yep so the carry out is happening because this bit so this bit got shifted up seven which ended up here and this bit got shifted up seven which came all the way up here but went past this point and then it got registered as a um what's it called um as a carry out so that bit would have gone up to uh, 128 256 512 it would have gone up to 512 but this doesn't go up to 9 bits 8 uh, 10 bits so yeah I couldn't do that so this means that if you wanted to use this as a flag for like a branch or something then you could freely freely, freely use it which isn't that hard to just yeah um, if you ever actually need anything this advanced you probably know what branching is and conditional branch if you don't then learn it <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much what i want to show you guys um right now i'm on the all server so i'll show you the ip if i go to edit so that's what the ip is uh, um oh. so yeah that's the the IP and there. So if I go on that, and yeah, so the only drawbacks, I guess, in this is that one, you can only have nine signal strength going into this block right here. So if isn't if this isn't nine signal strength, this won't reach all the way up to here. This thing right here is dependent. Like, if you don't have um, nine blocks for either side, this non not none of the signals will reach this torch. And if it was a one less, that means that this could only turn it off if it was down here, and this could only turn off if it was up here. And then that would make it so it's an AND gate, which doesn't work. 
Um, another drawback is the diagonal. It cuts off here because of the stuff I need to do for the carry out. So that's one more drawback. Um, another drawback is that um, Sai. Actually, no. This is like really freaking compact for rotational and five ticks. Like I, I'm sorry, but I've got to say this is like compact to to most I've seen. Like, especially uh, ones with rotation. But I don't see many off. I uh, don't see them often in diagonal. But I will link a video to some called what's his name now, um, great gamer, and he has a video with a um shift uh, uh what's it called barrel shifter. And uh, you can watch that video in comparison because at that time that was probably the best shifter, and it was actually made by the guy who was who makes who was who was working on this. His name is Lord DiCapo, and he's working on Niza with a group called Regis Register File. I'm in that group, and I help out making just random hardware for them. I made that for them, and it uh, this PC thing, which is pretty simple. And yeah, I just help out busing and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I think I've told all the drawbacks. Um, just stuff like that, I guess. So yeah, um, there's you don't always have to. F and, uh, I've, I haven't tried something. I don't know if you'd ever need a place that you would conditionally do a. Um, rotate but if you needed that I guess you can do it here but I, I really don't know when you need it so uh, I just made this for the layout so people know where the stuff goes and if you just want it to either rotate or not to rotate just all all these lines together so just do a line connecting the oh oh yeah I forgot on this server there's editable sign so if I shift and then click boom I can edit the sign, which is freaking awesome. So yeah, I just have to connect this line to this line, and then the bottom line there, and then that'd be pretty simple to do. And yeah, and also there's another thing that I made. Actually, no, they're not using it in this one. They kind of are, but not. They modified it so it has this. This is a cache. Made by me and Vaults and Lords edited it to have a buffer in between. So if you don't understand pipelining is where you can do the CPU can do multiple things at a certain time. So you can't not like for example you can't do like multiple programs at a time, well in like at the same time. It just cordons off parts for different things. For example, like you can fetch, then um, start to decode and while it's decoding you can fetch another thing. And when that first thing's executing, the other one, other parts in um, the deco stage, and the other ones at the fetch. So basically, you can do four different. Op I think this one can do more than four different ops at a time. I'm not sure how many stages it has, but I think it's either four or five. Or oh, for the main loop thing, ex external access and stuff, you lose lo lots of cycles, but yeah. So yeah, if you want me to if you want me to show the how the cache works, I can do that. I'm probably gonna just record one after this. So yeah, I'll show you how the cache works and how useful how it can be useful. Usually, you won't use it in. I'll just explain it later. So yeah, that's about it, guys. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and yeah, peace.